Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you a fun way that you can target really specific areas within your images using the intersect mode instead of on one photo raw 2026. Let's jump in and take a look. So inside of photo raw here, let's say we have this coffee cup and this could be a portrait, this could be a vehicle, this could be any sort of subject where you have a very specific part of that subject that you want to be modified with a mask. This could be a local adjustment, this could be an effect. You could also do this technique I'm about to show you using layers. But let's say for example, we want to go into this coffee cup and we just want to illuminate the right side of the coffee cup. We have a lot of light coming in on the left. So we just want to illuminate this right side to match this lighting that's on the left and just make that subject stand out within the scene. Well, to do that, we're going to use the intersect mode with our masking tools inside of photo raw. It's really easy to do. And it's a really great way to again, target those very specific areas within your image. So let's go into our local tab here. I'm going to click local and we're going to go and we're going to use this little plus icon here. We're going to choose more and we're going to use quick mask AI and we're going to choose add so that we can apply the mask to the subject that we select. Now, my favorite thing about quick mask AI is that you can simply draw a box around the subject that you want to select and it will automatically select it for you. So I'm just going to click and draw a little box around our coffee cup here. Oops, and let me include this little area as well so that we have the entire cup selected. From there, we're just going to use this little blue check mark to apply the mask. Now, if we view our mask here, you can tell it's doing a great job of just targeting the coffee cup within our scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the exposure to again, illuminate the coffee cup. Now I'm going to make it a little bit strong just so that we can see that before and after. Remember everything in photo raw is not destructive. So you can always fine tune with the opacity. You could also just use a lower exposure as needed. But again, we're demoing this, so I'm going to make it a little bit strong. But I've selected the entire coffee cup, so it's applying this adjustment to the entire coffee cup. Well, we only want it applied to the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the masking options for this adjustment. And we're going to use mask layers to create a new mask layer within this same adjustment. Remember with mask layers, you can use multiple masks within a single adjustment or filter to target specific areas within your image. For the coffee cup, we're going to use the little plus icon here and we're going to use a gradient mask. We'll just choose add here. Now with my gradient mask, you can see it's applying itself to the bottom of the scene here. So we can just use this smaller handle to rotate it so that the gradient is applied to the right side. And then I'll just place this over that right side. We can always move it around later, but I'll just place it right there for now. So again, we have the gradient applied to the right side and we also have our coffee cup masked as well. So what intersect mode is going to do is it's going to see where the masks are overlapping and that's where that mask is going to be applied to. So if you think about it, the masks are only overlapping in this right side of the coffee cup. And let me just show you after the intersect mode, it'll make a lot more sense. So let's go into our mask layers. I'm going to go to my gradient mask here. I'm going to go to mode and I'll choose intersect. And again, that's going to detect the areas where the masks are overlapping one another. And that's exactly where it's going to apply the adjustment. So let's click it and see. And there we go, because our gradient was only applied to the right side of the coffee cup and the whole coffee cup was masked. The only areas that were overlapping were the right side of the coffee cup. So we can move this around as needed. And let's just take a look at our photo now. And let me just mask this or feather it rather a little bit. And now if I turn this adjustment off and on, it's only being applied to the right side of our coffee cup.
And that's how to use intersect mode to target very specific areas within your image. Remember, it's going to take the mask areas that are overlapping, and that's where it's going to target that mask. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.